Welcome back to another episode of the Movie Trivia Showdown. It's the Team League, and I'm Christian Harlaw. I am Mark Ellis, and Christian, we have a matchup of two rising star teams in this league. We have Nerds Watch. They're the favorite today, but taking on Team Action. They like to watch stuff blow up. Will their chances at a title blow up here today? Listen, this is the great thing about this new Team League. It's young. There's some new people coming into it, and we saw two teams that had really nice debuts now going head-to-head as they want to get closer to a chance to get those titles and be the top of the heap. That's right. And when I look at this as an analyst, my sixth grade education comes into play because you look at the Venn diagram of these two teams, right? So you have Team Action. They love the big, you know, Kablamo movies. Nerds Watch, you would think they're just nerdy movies, but then we saw Rachel Cushing run a category like the Oscars in addition to her inner geekdom success. So can she put her team on her shoulders once again? Well, I mean, listen, to be fair to Ken also, Ken had a very good first Not round. Not good at all. No, yeah. he had a very good first round his last match but then like you said Rachel Cushing is starting to be an emerging star people are already chattering that she might be the rookie of the year and we're in April so and then you look at the team like team action also contenders for rookies of the year depending on what's going to happen to them how are they going to play today now the funny thing is as Ken says he is a hero looking to that the league needs heroes and certainly team action does not feel that way Woo. because they have been snake tongued if you will someone should watch Wash their mouth out with some zest because Christian, my goodness, they, the language they were saying, the things, the barbs they were throwing, I felt bad for Nerds Watch. Well, I mean, we don't have to hear it from Mark. We can just show you. Here we go. Yo, we get a, where's our belt? Is this thing on? We I was a belt, right? Yeah, I was told there'd be a belt. Where's the belt? Is that scotch? Movie trivia showdown fans, the Nerds Watch is back. We're growing, but this is the team that started it all. Rachel, our path to the championship does have a next step. It absolutely does. We have proven ourselves, we are contenders in this league, and we have team action in our way. These guys think they're heels. They are not. They're young, they're cocky, they won, but barely. So they're just next in our way, and we're going to take them down. Who are the nerds watch? Ken? <laughs> Ken's going to be rolling up in his electric wheelchair against Rachel, the Rookie of the Year contender? Uh, you're Kitty. looking at the Rookies of the Year. You know, it's really, really sweet of Rachel to take some time out of her day from reading Lord of the Rings to Ken for the 17th time. But, yeah, right? you know, we're here to compete in the movie trivia showdown. Make no mistake, Rachel and I stand here today knowing that the path is still in front of us. We're 1-0. and We do need a victory. Our eyes are on the Patriots, and our eyes are on the title. Victory. Absolutely, 100%. We are here to see the return of heroes. And all you villains that build your success on your ego, your ability to bully, your ability to be the loudest screaming monster in the room. The Nerds Watch does not shout. The Nerds Watch just wins. Two knockouts in a row for Team Action. All right, that's what's gonna happen. Nerds Watch, you're going down by the beginning of the third round. Team Action is coming to knock you out once again. We're Mike Tyson 1996. We don't even have to bite your ear off, okay? We are going to beat you clean, plain, and simple with movie trivia. That's right. Nerds, watch out. Team Done. action's coming. It's over. Dead. <laughs> Rachel the Crusher Cushing, could you please tell me and show the nice fans at home what's going to happen to the nice boys of Team Action today? I'd be happy to. Think about that when your moms are coming here to pick you up. And as you see, right? I mean, look. Am I right? They, they are, you were right. They are cocky. They are arrogant. They Brash. don't seem to have any respect for the nerds watch whatsoever. And Ken saying as much. I like that little thing that, that the crusher did where she said she was going to crush them. Like, yeah. They're like crushing your heads. That's, crushing. Right, that's right. And I don't like to use strong language. You know that. But the term ne'er-do-wells comes to mind when you're talking about team action. I'm sorry all you kids that had to hear that. Well, they don't. I mean, they didn't have a lot of respect for us last week. They didn't have a lot of respect for anybody. So I'm, I'm assuming we'll see the same thing from them today but let's go to the tail of the tape there you go look at though they are just look at them they're just making fun of the poor nerds watch in this video and <laughs> you have the strengths from the nerds watch they have lord of the rings movies or fantasy sci-fi if you will star wars movies and oscar movies obviously and then you look at team action which blowing things up obviously action adventure movies tom cruise movies and laughing and being mean to everyone 
They're very good at being mean. They're very good at laughing. Let's see how good they are at the movie trivia schmodown. This is a big round two game for us because I think it all depends on what wedge they get on the wheel. Christian, how's that throat feeling? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first, representing Action Movie Anatomy with a record of one win, no defeats with one knockout. They are the number 10 ranked team. Ladies and gentlemen, dastardly Drew Guy and Ben Big Time Bateman. Team action, wait a minute. This is going on. Well, this is, this is not the... With their, look at these nice they're young men. They're with their moms. These are their actual. These are not height of actresses. These are the actual. These are their mothers. actual mothers. Wait, what is it? This is not. Yeah. Hi. hi. How, are, How you are you guys? Lovely this is to, nice see to see you. Oh well, 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 they're taking their mom over to the crowd and they're, they're saying hello to people. Yeah, you know, like, 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 this, like is, this is not the. This is not what they're sitting their moms down. Like Matt and Ben at the Oscars so many years ago, hey. they show up with their moms. They look close. Look at how nice these, it's these nice, nice. little guys. Oh, you oh, don't have to do. Oh, well, thank you. It's, it's very hey, a great seeing you. Wow. And, and oh my, oh, what a joy nice to have to, you nice here. Nice to see you. I don't know how dastardly they are right now. Yeah. I don't know about. Um, what, thanking us? I mean, that that's a different side. They turned from heel to elbow. That was very nice. I, I mean, that was a very respectful young gentleman. I feel like I should be offered a lemon square and a hot cup of tea. It was very nice. Nice to see you. Okay, well, nice to see you guys. Nerds so, watch. Follow that. All right. And their opponents. Representing the Nerds watch with a record of one win, no defeats with one knockout. They are the number nine ranked team. Rachel, the crusher, Cushing, and the pit boss, Ken Knapsack, team Nerds Watch. Oh, the there Nerds are. Watch coming in hot. Shooting now, they're the ones shooting. Like a rebel oh, bounty oh, hunter Chewy. and Chewy's a Chewbacca here. mask who's been to a lot of conventions over the years. Rachel presenting oh, Ken Knapsack nice. to the world. <laughs> that, Ken. that was funny. That was wow. funny. Very Hello, team, team action, applauding. Still being very respectful of Nerdwatch. This is very different than the pre-interview that we just saw. Wow, he's pulling Ben Bateman pulling out the chair. That's for a the gentleman. Crusher. That's a gentleman through and through. Andrew, uh, Drew is pulling out the chair for for Ken. I don't know if Ken's gonna fall for this trick. I don't know. Yeah. Now, uh, Christian, the real question comes down to who had the odder intro because Nerdwatch again coming out to a TV show theme. Right. We can guarantee there's no Game of Thrones questions here today. Then you also have Team Action coming out with their moms to a song where Tom Cruise made out with Kelly McGillis in Top Gun. That's a little awkward <laughs> to somebody who gave birth to you. Maybe well. so. All right, so let's get ready to go Christian, here. Christian, I just want to jump in here really quickly and just say yes, we sir. are so blessed to be here. Thank you. We feel so fortunate to be here on Thank the Schmodown, and we're just we're just so happy to have our mothers in the audience. So yes. have yeah, a great absolutely. match, guys. Okay. Christian, Thank I don't you. know what team. Is this team Bible study? Who I, are I these people? I, it's, just, it's very interesting. But, I'm not sure uh, okay, what look, I'm more appalled at how nice they're reference. being than it was anything they said in the well, pregame. Well, calm down, will you? All right, here we go. Let's get into round number one. Mark, please let the, the nice team over there and Team Action, please let them know what is is, uh, what the rules are. A little perturbed by how nice everybody's being, but I will do my best. In round one, everybody gets a series of eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing the question, nor is there any stealing. As soon as you hear the question, start writing your best answer on the whiteboard you have in front of you. When we ask you to reveal your answer, at the same time you're showing the camera what you wrote, please verbalize your answer. Again, eight questions, and we'll remind you of our two newer rules. You have the JTE rule, which means that you have three times during the entirety of the match that you can ask us to repeat a question. And then we also have the challenge rule, where if you don't like the way an uh, answer went, you think you got a better one, you can challenge. Now, if that challenge is upheld, then you do earn yourself another challenge in the match. All right, so Team Nerds Watch, you guys ready to go? Absolutely. Ready to go. Team Action, are you ready to go? Uh, best of luck, guys. Best of luck, guys. Have a great game. <laughs> then these guys? let's get ready to schmodown! <laughs> Round one. All right. The first question for Nerds Watch and the Ned Flanders kids comes from the category of action adventure. Your question is, 
Who plays the love interest of Martin Riggs in Lethal Weapon 3 and 4? You ever been in an office what with uh, Mark Riley with a meatball sub? Could be considered a, um, um, a lethal weapon. No? <laughs> no, no uh, I actually like where you went with that. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Rachel. Renee Russo. That is correct. Ben. I said Meg Ryan. That is incorrect. Mm. Ken. Renee Russo. That is correct. Andrew. Renee Russo. That is correct. No, no, Question know. number two. Zach Braff voices a farm animal convinced that an alien invasion is imminent. In which film? Animated. Yeah, I know. This That's what I said. It is now. animated. Yeah. It did not come out of your mouth. It didn't? Very confusing. Well, they the, figured it out. To the computer. Five. <laughs> they say you think it's a biopic. We're in very, trouble. Five, very four, confusing. three, two, one. Ben? I said over the hedge. That is incorrect. Ken? Uh, alien farts. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Andrew? Zootopia. Incorrect, Rachel. Chicken Little. That's correct for one point. <laughs> Rachel, one Zach Brass fan. Absolutely. Really nice point, Crusher. Really nice. Very, Crusher very, is doing very good. Well earned point. Your next question is from the world of comedy movies. What is the first name shared by the two corporate consultants in Office Space? <laughs> you can hear McCuga loving this question. That's right, Josh McCuga. Finally, a question he can answer. Oh, that's not very nice. He's doing well. He's yeah. doing well. In he the had league. a nice league. Not Five, doing as well. Four, three, two, one. Ken. The Bobs. Bob. That's correct. Drew. The Bobs. It's the Mikes. Damn it! Uh, I knew it. Uh, Rachel. Bob. That's correct. And Bob. Bob. That's correct. All right. So five to two, going into question number four here, in the category of family films. Richard Madden plays a prince in which Disney live action film? Richard Madden plays a prince in what Disney live action film? See how I did that twice? Oh. I didn't even ask. <laughs> I was going to say, we don't have a lot to say about I this. Know. Question. Five, four, three, two, one. Drew. Princess Diaries. Incorrect. Rachel. Cinderella. That's correct for one point. Ben. Said Enchanted. That's incorrect. Rob Stark was in Cinderella. That is correct. <laughs> All right. All right. Give them a, a Game of Thrones act. Give them two happen. points. I will point out his actual name is Richard Madden, Ken, not Rob Stark. I stand corrected. Okay. All right. Here Your we next go. category is the world of drama. Your question is, in Under the Tuscan Sun, who played the lead role of Francis Mays? Italy. Ever been there? Damn it. I was going to ask if you knew anyone named Francis. I don't. Well, okay. How about you answer my question? What was it? Italy. You ever been there? Does the uh, parts of New York count? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and Drew. Pierce Brosnan. Incorrect. <laughs> Rachel. Diane Lane. That's correct. Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> uh, ben. A woman very close to my heart, Diane Lane. That's correct. All right, Ken. One of the best women in the world, Diane Lane. All right, so Drew oh. needed that point. There's 9-3 here, starting to get a, a devastating lead. I will say, Pierce Brosnan, very close looking I, to Diane looks Lane. looks very similar. It's very similar. It's, it's 2017. You shave the beard, same guy. All right, fantasy sci-fi. I can tell you that the answer for this question is not Pierce Brosnan, but <laughs> the question, in which James Cameron film Will you find the drilling platform known as Deep Core? That was in my nickname in high school. That's disgusting. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. P Rachel. Avatar? Incorrect. Ben. Avatar. Incorrect. Ken. Abyss. That's correct. Abyss. That's correct. All right. Two. Uh, ten, Points, so ten, one each. Ten four here. Um, back to Mark. Ten to four, and uh, team action. Maybe they're being a little too nice. They need to kick it in here, and they can do so with the next category, horror thriller. Your question is thus. What 2013 zombie horror fest was directed by Mark Forster? You ever seen a zombie? Uh, one more time, please. Uh, who's, who's using that? That's action. That's okay. That's the JTE rule, just so you know. Uh, what 2013 zombie horror fest was directed by Mark Forster? You ever live in 2013? <laughs> <laughs> you made the effort. That's what counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Ben. I said zombie land. That is incorrect. Ken. I remember 28 days later, it was a good movie. Uh, <laughs> Danny Boyle. True. World War Z. That's correct for one point. Rachel. Said warm bodies. Oh, so there you go. Big Actually, play by Drew uh, there. Yeah, nice point, Drew. Nice point. See you, Mom. All right, All right final category in the category of new releases. 
Name the recent comedy in which teachers Charlie Day and Ice Cube have an impending face-off after school. I would ask you if you ever got in a fight in school, but I think I know the answer. No, you don't. <laughs> so now you got to guess. Five. Can you repeat four. the question? Oh, okay. One for um, the nerds. Name the recent comedy in which teachers yeah, Charlie Day and Ice Cube have an impending face-off after school. Five. Four, three. I just hate that two, preview so much. One, Ken Napsok. <laughs> Is it Charlie Work fist fight? That's correct, fist fight. Uh, all right, what Teacher do you got? Teacher fight. Incorrect, oh. Rachel. I just said recess. In ben. Fair. It's me. Fist fight. That's correct. Nice, okay, baby. so there we go. 11 6. Five point <laughs> Thank deficit you, Ken. now. So, action, team action really needs a strong category, and they need the Nerds Watch to have a bad one. So, let's see what happens. That's right. We're going to get the pie wedges out here in a minute. I think that you look at somebody like a Nerds Watch, strong category all the way around. Team action screwing some proverbial pooches, but also getting some later Switch. points to make it competitive. Well, I think that was the main thing, Mark, is the fact that they had a couple that it looked like they were going to be in bad trouble, mm -hmm. but they were able to at least eke out that they couldn't get it together. To okay. be able to rebound from Pierce Brosnan and answer World War Z says a lot about Drew's composure. I think they're going to have a better round two. Thank you. All right, Mark, how does round number two work? Round number two works as thus, competitors. Each team is going to get a spin at that there wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you are allowed to have a mulligan. The next category you spin, you must stick on. Each category on that wheel has six questions that correspond to that genre. Each question is worth two points. However, if you don't know the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. You are allowed to consult with your teammate through the duration of round two, but keep in mind, stealing is allowed. All right, so here we go. Nerds watch, you guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? We elect to go first. You're gonna go first. All right, Ken, give it a big spin, please. Good luck, guys. Pit boss is giving it a spin. You gotta oh wonder God, what spinning action adventure might do for them, Christian. Oh. You are so strong, Ken. Spin. Oh, Ooh, 70. 70. It's a great spin. It's a good category. It's a good Ken, not as confident category. as Rachel. This yep. is gonna be interesting to see their decision. Very interesting. Ken. You guys were born then. Oh, there's that one shot we're looking for. That's true. Flipper See, snapper. he's coming out. They're going to spin again. again. We're going to spin again. Go ahead. All right. It's a nice spin. spin. Does it pay off for him? I'm or looking it at him? 70s. Yeah. It is out. Oh, director. director. That's okay. That's okay. All right, directors. Directors. Here we go. Six questions in the category of directors. Who directed the seventh seal? Ingmar Bergman. That's correct for two points. Rachel Cushing continuing on her impressive streak. This here. is what Team Action had to have feared. We so fear anything. Sofia Coppola's first feature film as a director featured Kirsten Dunst as one of five sisters set in the 1950s. Name the film. Virgin Suicides. Correct for two points. It's like watching the Beatles record the White Album, Christian. Rachel Cushing once again. They are, they are chanting Crusher in the audience. All right. What film did Rob Reiner both appear in and direct? This is Spinal Tap. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, Two you points. dog, like you. Like Sandbagging it for your buddy, Napsuck. Okay. Way to go, guys. Who directed The Wizard of Oz? Five, four, Three, two. Multiple choice. Is it A, Frank Capra, B, Victor Fleming, C, John Ford, D, William Wyler? Victor Fleming. That's correct. One point. And Rachel seems upset at herself that she even had to go to multiple choice. Well, I mean, they played it smart. Mark Wahlberg gets framed in Shooter. Who directed Shooter? Multiple choice. Is it A, Antoine Fuqua, B, Tony Scott, C, John Woo, D, Paul Greengrass. Antoine Fuqua? Correct for one point. The crushing. Oh, rolling the through crush. this. <laughs> Genuinely right. impressive, guys. All right. good. What was film was Iron Man director John Favreau's directorial debut? Swingers. That is incorrect. <laughs> for the steal? Oh, you're right. Five, four, three, Film made. That's correct for two points. What big a steal. big steal. That is a big steal. Wow. Thanks, Ken. All right.
so there you go. All right, so now Team Action, however, needs to get at least two points because right now they are in fear of being knocked out, but that they have a chance to score and score some Still a mountain to climb here, but that last steal. They may have two nice moms, but that's two bad mofos right up there. Go ahead and spin that wheel. All right, guys, big spin. But Rachel Cushing having another stellar performance here in round two. Nice spin. Good spin. Good spin. I love you, Mom! <laughs> They got Ooh, oh. almost hit Smithers' choice. We're gonna go with the respin. They're gonna spin again. <laughs> Another good spin. You know they want action adventure. It's coming around. They got it. They got it. They got, they got, they got action, action adventure. adventure. Unbelievable stuff here. <laughs> Is it gonna pay off? The one category that we thought might be able to bail them out of this 11 point hole that they're in, they just spun it. Team Action, that's why you invite your moms to the show. All right, well, Team Action needs to deliver here. Their namesake depends on it. It is 19 to eight. They need a strong category to come back. Your first question in Action Adventure for Team Action, who played the sick war boy named Nux in Mad Max Fury Road. Nicholas Holt. Two points. Two points, there you go. Two points, they're on the comeback trail. 19-10, avoiding, so far avoiding the knockout. Your next question is, what Oscar-nominated actress plays Moneypenny in recent Bond films Skyfall and Spectre? Naomi Harris. Two more wow, points. Wow, impressive so far for Team Action now, climbing back. Their moms are impressed, obviously, and so am I. In which film will you find Samuel L. Jackson playing elite LAPD operative Hondo Harrelson? Five, four, three. Can you repeat, please? That's number two. In which film will you find Samuel L. Jackson playing elite LAPD operative Hondo Harrelson? Five, four, three, two. Multiple ch choice. Just in the nick of time, and your multiple choice options are, is it A, Formula 51, B, SWAT, C, The Recruit, or D, Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> Five, four, three. Uh, we're going to say B, SWAT. One point. One point. Nice fight for there. team action. Good fight for team action <laughs> there. Thank God. They're yeah. climbing back here, Mark. They're climbing back. All right. They have three questions left. And if my math is correct, if they get all three right with two points each, they could be tied going into round three. What a comeback that would be. Yes. Yeah. Your question is, which action star played Nefarious Andre in 1988's Black Eagle? What <laughs> Five. We're going to go multiple choice. Your options are, is it A, Steven Seagal, B, Jeff Speakman, C, Jean-Claude Van Damme, or D, Eric Roberts? Five, four, three, two. We're going to say D, Eric Roberts. That is incorrect. <laughs> the steal for one point for Nerds Watch, five. We're going to go with the wild card of Jeff Speakman. That is also incorrect. We were looking for Van Dam, And I would like to challenge that Jeff Speakman is an action star. I didn't know that that was a fact. Was Van Dam C? Van Dam was C. Van Dam was option C. All right, two more questions for Team Action in the category of action adventure. Your next one is, in 300, how did the Spartans respond to the Persian emissaries, warning that their arrows would blot out the sun? Then Michael Fassbender said, we will fight in the shade. Give them two, two points. points. That was good. Give well, them two, two points. My points. <laughs> Your last question in round two. In Kill Bill, Uma Thurman's character is known as The Bride. What is her real first name? Beatrix Kiddo. We just wanted the first name. He gave us both. They get two <laughs> points. That's correct. 19. What a comeback. Nice comeback. They're on the verge of being knocked out cold. 
and they come back, and here we are now going into round number three with only a two-point lead from the Nerds Watch. Action could easily win this game. I, that was I, for our mothers, guys. Thank you so much. One Thank of the you. greatest you second so rounds in history. I'm good. glad their mothers were here to witness it. Win or lose, that was a hell of a comeback was, by Team Action. And I think they should also be proud because their name is Team Action. They could have best been it, but they didn't. That's right. You, yeah. you, it, when you get the category, you better knock it out of the park. They certainly did right. that. Nice gentlemen, though they may be. Right. Uh, all right, here we go. So round number three, Mark, <laughs> tell us how this works. Round three is the third and final round of the Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Edition. What's going to happen is you guys are going to get a series of three questions per team. The teammates will have to choose after hearing the category which member is going to answer the two-point question and which member is going to answer the three-point question. You are not allowed to confer with your teammate during those queries. However, for the five-point question, you are allowed to consult. There's no stealing. There's no penalty for missing a question. All right, nerds, you guys are up first. So please. That's accurate. Uh, so please. Well, it's called Nerds Watch. Um, so please pick three numbers from 1 to 25. Eight. Dan Marino. That's number 13. Uh, and seven. All right. Mickey Mantle. Team action. <laughs> what he said. Four. 12. And 17. Four, 12, and 17. All right. Thank you. Team, Thank you, Makuga. Team action. You guys are down right now, so you have to avoid the a TKO here and answer your two-point question. All right. I will be administering the questions to team action. Your first one is in the world of drama. Who would like to take the two-pointer? I'm going to be taking the two. All right. Ben's taking the two. Ben, your question is? Which film marked the first collaboration between Ron Howard, the director, and Russell Crowe, the star? Five, four, three, two. Beautiful Mind. Two points. Correct. Nice. We are tied. Oh, ben oh. Bateman ties the game here. Now we're going to shoot on over to the Nerds Watch, who's going to go back to try to take the lead with question from the category number eight. You scored movie release dates. Mm. I'll be taking this one. And I'm sure Wait, you wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you might be upset that you did that, because in what year was the first Harry Potter movie released? Two thousand one. That is correct. Yeah! Three points for Ken Nap. Two points for Ken Napsock. <laughs> We're gonna bounce back to Team Action now, who's got their three pointer with category number twelve. And credit goes to Rachel for keeping a poker face. I had no idea if Ken got it right, and she held it strong. Right. Your question in number twelve. Your category is Pixar. Drew, you will be fielding the question from the popular animation company. Your question is. What was the first Pixar franchise after Toy Story to get a sequel? Ice Age. Incorrect. We were looking for Cars. Ice Age is a DreamWorks, I believe. DreamWorks, Who yeah. really cares about Ice Age? All right. Cars. So it comes down to this, Mark. Now, because of that miss, they are going to have to hit their five-pointer in order to stay in the that. game. Here we go. So the category is number 17. All right, and your category is directors. Directors is the question. You are allowed to confer for the following. William Wyler directed what 1959 classic starring Charlton Heston? Ben-Hur. Correct! Five wow, points! Five Ooh. points, they hit it! One of the precursors to great action movies I that know. we know today is Ben-Hur, the chariot race sequence, and this is just as thrilling in my opinion. Look, I would actually like to thank my mom for that. <laughs> very, that is actually the reason I know that, and I've held that Oscar. Very, Ooh. very interesting here because Rachel basically can tie the game here with their three-pointer, which is so. the, they picked number 13, which is the category of Denzel Washington movies. Ooh. All right. Rachel, to tie the game, name a film other than Fences directed by Denzel Washington. The Great Debaters. 
That's correct. Woo! Tie game here. We are tied. This is what it all comes down to. This is it. it is 24 to 24, though I will point out that Team Action's moms have scored 31 points in this game <laughs> thus far. Yes. All right. So, but if they miss this, it's sudden death. If they hit it, they have won the game. In the category, you picked category seven, you picked Oscar movies. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. Hey, All right. You got this, guys. You got this. All right, here we go. What 1970 war film won best adapted screenplay at the Oscars? I've Can we repeat the question? What 1970 war film won best adapted screenplay at the Oscars? Five, four. Patton. And we are going to sudden oh! death. Yes! The answer yes! was MASH. Oh. Yes! The answer was, was the answer. Mash. Here we go as we make it to sudden death Whew. between Team Action and Team Nerds Watch. 24-24. Mark, how does sudden death work? It might be another point explosion. Here's how it works. You guys all have buzzers in front of you. What's going to happen is the hosts up here at the table are going to ask a question to the field. Whoever buzzes in first, that person and that person alone must answer the question. So you're not allowed to consult with your teammate. If you answer the question correctly, then your team gets to answer a question. If you answer that question correctly as a team, you win the game. If you miss it, then we go back to the questions for the field. All right, remember, once again, do not slam on the buzzer. Simply <laughs> touch them. All right, here we go. Here is your question. Who voices the title character of Balto? in the 1995 film, Balto. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Nothing. All right, the answer was Kevin Bacon. Yeah, well, that, was a, uh, that was a big misfire. That was a that big movie. misfire. All right, <laughs> here is your next question. Cloverfield, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, and Gran Torino were all released in what year? Ben. Three, two, 2007. One. Incorrect. 2005. Incorrect. 2008 is what mm. we're looking for. Okay. Dud so far. Your next question Woo! is Jodie Foster loses her daughter on a plane. Ben. Flight plan. That is correct. That's correct. All right. And so now. For the chance to win the game. And we can confirm on this, right? Yes. Ken. It all comes down to this. What actor? played characters named Farmer Ted, Brian Johnson, and Gary Wallace in 1980s teen comedies. One Five. more time. Do we get, do we have another this one? This is the last one. Yeah. What actor played characters named Farmer Ted, Brian Johnson, and Gary Wallace in 1980s teen comedies? Five, four, three, to James Spader? Incorrect. We're looking for Anthony Michael Hall. So we are re Anthony Michael Hall. We and we reset, Christian. We are resetting. Back. Ah. All right. Flight plan. Who composed Vertigo, North by Northwest, and Psych? Rachel. Bernard Herman? That's correct. <laughs> Bernard Herman is correct. So now the Nerds Watch has a chance to win the game. In the movie, The Great White Hope, James Earl Jones played what boxer? Five, four, three. Sonny Liston. Looking for Jack Johnson. Oh. Back mm. to the sun. This is the oh, longest. Oh, nice shot, guys. Time. Really nice shot on that. Really good effort. Thanks, Mom. Wow. Good try. I love you, Mom. So they both have had chances to win the game and cannot do it. That's right. All right. Your next question. Who played more than one role in the Stanley Kubrick classic, Dr. Strangelove? Rachel. Peter Sellers. That is correct. That's correct. All right. So we're back. Rachel buzzing in quick there. The Crusher with another chance now to win the game for Nerds Watch. Can they do it this time around? Your question is, the Maltese Falcon and Disney's Dumbo were both released in what decade? Five, four, 
1940s. And your winner! Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the Pitbulls, so Ken Nelson, uh. and Rachel, the Crusher, Kushik, wow. the Nerds Watch. Christian, I, 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 great <laughs> game by the Nerds Watch. They held their composure in overtime, but team action. They won by losing. And let's not forget how far back they were at the beginning of round two to get to this. The fact that they even sniffed overtime is an incredible achievement, a moral victory, Not, if you will. Listen, they almost won this thing a couple times here, and the fact that they were down that much, I mean, they avoided the knockout, mm -hmm. they got action. I mean, they, like, like I said, they won the game even though they lost. I mean, they really did. All right, so as we get to Emma Fife now, who is standing with both the winners, the Nerds Watch, and I would also say the winners, Team Action. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Emma Fife here with Rachel, The Crusher, Cushing, and Ken Knapsack, Team Nerds Watch, fresh off their very hard-earned victory today. Yeah, that was a lot closer than we were expecting, so props to Team Action. Like, it was, we got a point, then they got a point, and we got, it was just kind of crazy and totally nerve-wracking, but we finally pulled it out. I can finally breathe, and I said before the match that team action is part of the future of the Schmodown, and I think what was confirmed here today is that we have future stars. My message to team action is to go home, look yourself in the mirror, and know that you belong, and let your mothers continue to raise you better. <laughs> It certainly was a very impressive showing all around. Rachel continuing to prove to be one of the greatest new competitors we have here in this league. I mean, girl, you know everything. Thank you. Not quite. I think, I think a few holes showed there, but it's crazy. The more I do this, actually, the more nervous I get between, before each match. I mean, the adrenaline's rushing. I want to be out there, but like it was just going down to the wire. But we pulled it out. I pulled out some stuff that I was really happy that I remembered. And thank God for Alfred Hitchcock questions. And Ken Nabzog, I got to say, in the third round there, you were pretty clutch. I have a in, innate ability to know where I was when big pop culture moments happened. I didn't see Harry Potter at the theater, but I do remember that year. Awesome. Well, again, I mean, what, what a struggle here today. I mean, this was one of the most epic team matches we've ever seen here in the Schmodown. You guys have got to be feeling pretty good about your victory, having taken quite a while to earn it there. This is a victory with blood on the tracks. It was a punch versus punch. It was a kick for kick. Those boys took us to the ends of our souls. But we found ourselves today. We look deep down, and we know we belong as well. There is still a path to victory that will take us to the Patriots. But Patriots, I still hear you snickering. I still hear you celebrating victories you haven't even earned yet. We are here to erase villains and bring back heroes, and you are first on our list. I don't think they can be first on your list. You're gonna have to go through a few people before you get there. We understand the path to victory. It's still out in front of us, but I'm telling you, our eye is on the prize of humbling two men who are talented but have believed their own hype for far too long. Well, again, amazing showing on both of your parts here today. I'm sure we're going to continue to see you guys thrive here in the team league. And uh, we'll be right back with team action, I guess. And we are back with a couple of gentlemen who resemble team action, at least in appearance, but certainly not in uh, personality. But excellent match today, gentlemen. It really got down to the wire there. Thank, Thank you, you, Emma. Yeah, we're just so blessed to be a part of this league, and, and we just had a great time. I mean, the competition there was just was just unbelievable. Some of those questions, I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm really impressed which, with uh, Rachel, the yeah, Crusher Yeah, it's, it's not often that you really get to go head-to-head -head with a competitor that you really, truly respect to the utmost. And, and, and playing against someone of that caliber really brings up your level of play, and I think that's what happened. I think our play was elevated. But... Are you, you kidding me? Kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, like, are you, <laughs> there's no way we're going to win that match. Christian has a standing appointment on Thursday nights at Maestro's with Ken. There's yeah. no way. It's fixed, okay? It's forever. What kind of question is that? She answered it before it even Wait, came out. I'm Stanley sorry. Cooper, so are you, you kidding me? So you're now attacking the commissioner? You're basically saying that the, the commissioner is that focused? what we call him? Yeah, Christian Orloff is the commissioner His of this league. His name is Christian. He's rigged the game. It's clear. Him and Ken, what is it? Standing brunch? Maestro's? Yeah. What is that? Listen, we're here for the pizza. We're here to have a good time. Emma, thank you for the interview. It was a good match, but I mean, come on, guys. Let's be real here, okay? We're the future of this league.
league and everybody knows it. Now, where's the belt? Yeah, no, now you guys are on watch. Now you see who's coming. Now you know what we're capable of. You see that action category? Do you see what happened? Yeah, that is one of your strengths. I would have been, I think everybody would have been disappointed and you would not have even strengths. lived up to your name if you hadn't run that category. Right. I mean, inner geek them, there should be a category called boom. Is that scotch? Give me your, give That's it to scotch? me right now. Right now. Get over here. All right. Um, okay. Uh, well. Uh, well. There you have it. Team Action is back. And they're just as ne'er-do-well as ever. Back to you, Mark and Christian. All right, well, look at that. I mean, I, I will tell you one thing. The second that Team Action's moms left, they turned right back into those <laughs> dastardly doers that we saw before. Um, but there's a lot of respect there. I mean, there, there really is. I mean, even Emma Fife was giving them credit in, in the interview. But Nerds Watch still giving them the props, but they're also looking for the titles. I mean, that was a tough, tough match. 25-24, Mark. That's right. Team Action bringing such entertainment, bringing such fanfare in a different vein than we inspected to this match. And then when you look at Nerds Watch, what a balanced game they played today. Rachel Cushing and Ken Knapsack both coming with their A game. And Ken Knapsack is not going to like this reference, but this went to overtime, and they looked like Kellen Winslow being carried off the field in the 81 championship game when the Chargers beat the Dolphins. It was an amazing, amazing match. One of the, I mean, the audience was just gasping at every single thing. Mm -hmm. It was back and forth. Rachel Cushing was, once again, the show why she is the crusher, but team action really coming to play. We're going to see a lot more of those guys. Okay, now it's up to you guys. Make sure that you comment and like. You want more matches like this? Well, you got to keep commenting. Do it. Help us break the record. I think right now is over 3,500 comments. Make it 4,000. Make it 5,000. Get us over to 15,000 likes. It's a challenge on you guys. Join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. Can you do that? Well, you should because you can, you can talk to all your fellow competitors. You can talk to fans. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and do that. For Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Harloff, and we'll see you next time. Logo. Movie Trivia Smowdown fans, it's the Fantasy Update. I'm Josh McCuga after a huge team match, probably the most intense match we've ever seen. Battle after battle after sudden death battle. The final score, 25-24. You've been thinking, where did all those points? Why did we get those points in the final round? You only get one point. One point for the victory, and that one point goes to the Nerd Watch. 24 cut in half, team action. They are a player in this league. Hold on to them. If you have the Nerds Watch, you are holding on to a points galore, a boon, a Scrooge McDuck money bin full of points. I'm Josh McCuga. It's the Schmovy Trivia Schmodown Fantasy Update. For all of your other Schmodown things, go to Schmodown's schmoesno.com. Talk to Frank Janish. Also, go to Schmodown Rundown on Facebook and the podcast. Go to you. Shut your fucking mouth. All right. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.